Hello. Welcome back to the CA, CNA Dialogue. I, I forgot what, what's the title of our series. It's been, been so long since the last time we uploaded a video about yep. ourselves. We've been busy, you know, lots of life events. We, we need to give you an update about the one of the biggest things that just happened in our life. But anyway, welcome back guys to mm -hmm. my channel mm -hmm. and with my darling husband. Mm -hmm. Darling, not daring. <laughs> no, darling. <laughs> darling husband. Okay, um, a few days ago I posted a, a, a Q&A session on Instagram uh, and I'm gonna bring this Q&A to YouTube so it can be a really, not really, can kind of like longer video than Instagram video. Okay, okay. So I already select a, selected a few questions because I'm not gonna answer all of the questions. Yeah, this very, you get more questions than I ever do, so good luck with that. Um. <laughs> right, um, the question is in Indonesian. I'm gonna read it in Indonesian first and I'm gonna translate it. As per usual. As per usual. So, pertanyaan pertama itu yang aku pilih ya. Kak, kalau di Ireland cuti lahiran berapa lama kak full gaji atau dapat potongan? Okay, um, the question is, uh, how long is the maternity leave in Ireland? Do you get full salary or you just got partial salary? Um, for you who didn't know, we are currently expecting a baby. That's why we mm. have these questions. But we're not going to talk about that in particular. So, can you answer? How long is the maternity leave in Ireland? For maternity leave, I believe you get six months of... Depending on your company, it's either paid by social welfare, it's paid partly by the company, partly by social welfare, or it's unpaid. Uh, it depends, but I think social welfare does yeah. come in if it's unpaid in the company. Um, you can then extend that to one year. one year, and I think it's half your pay or something like that, or it could be nothing, it's unpaid. I'm not 100%, but six months definitely. Okay. Again. So, jadi, uh, I'm gonna answer in Indonesian. In Indonesian. <laughs> jadi, um, untuk uh, cuti lahiran di Ireland itu 6 bulan, itu dibayar udah pasti sama pemerintah. Jadi, pemerintah udah pasti kasih tunjangan melahirkan selama 6 bulan itu, gitu. Nah, kalau misal, ter, uh, apakah kita tetap dapat full gaji, itu tergantung dari perusahaannya juga. Uh, apakah perusahaannya itu bakalan bayar full gajinya itu misalkan setengah dari dia, setengah dari pemerintah, atau misalkan kita tetap dapat dari pemerintah, terus dari si company tetap bayar full gaji, jadi kita dapatnya double atau misalkan ada company yang sama sekali nggak nggak kasih kita uh, gaji selama 6 bulan tersebut jadi murni dapat dari pemerintah doang gitu nah terus uh, dari 6 bulan tersebut bisa extend ke satu tahun jadi kita nggak akan kehilangan pekerjaan kita kita extend satu tahun tapi uh, kita nggak dapat tunjangan dari pemerintah otomatis juga nggak dapat gaji kayak gitu cuma itu pilihan uh, individual ya masih mau extend atau enggak kayak kita di assessnya apakah misalkan kalau extend masih mampu untuk support hidup uh, nggak dapat gaji sama sekali dan nggak dapat tunjangan sama sekali kayak gitu oke okay. awesome <laughs> next question pertanyaan selanjutnya itu adalah rencana teh akiko menetap di sana sampai kapan lanjut studi lagi kah this question is particularly for me but of I'm course. gonna translate this to you so you know what's what's being asked yeah. So, what's your plan, Akiko? Are you gonna stay forever in Ireland? Are you going to continue your study or not? Do you want to answer it in in a, in a, in a quick, short answer quick, and then short, I will explain yeah, okay. it later? So, Akiko loves Ireland and if she has her way, she's never leaving. <laughs> you know, she's, this is it. This is where she wants to be. I think the only, uh, she does intend to also pursue her study as well. Um, when the time is right for herself, she'll... She'll obviously tell me, I want to do it now, and I'll be like, yeah, go for it. Yeah. Awesome. Um, but, you know, if events happen that it's like, we see a better option elsewhere, and it's like, say, I don't know, she got her placement in wherever, like Switzerland, she'd be like, yeah, we're going to Switzerland. Like, well, yeah. the, the likely we move to Switzerland is your job. Okay, I'm going to explain this later. <laughs> Jadi uh, perencanaannya menetap di Ireland atau enggak? Um, sejauh ini sih enggak ada kepikiran buat leave Ireland karena maksudnya kayak gini. Sekarang kan aku udah berkeluarga juga di sini. Um, jadi kayak kalau udah berkeluarga kan uh, pertimbangannya beda lagi. Kayak udah bukan lagi ambisi sendiri kayak gitu loh. Jadi kayak apalagi kalau misalnya udah punya anak, aku nggak mau. Jujur aku nggak mau bawa anak aku pindah-pindah negara. Jadi dia harus uh, beradaptasi lagi kayak gitu. Jadi sejauh ini sih rencana kita di Ireland ya gitu. Terus kalau misalkan tentang rencana studi. Aku selesai S2 tuh tahun 2017, sekarang udah 2023. 
rencana pasti ada ya pengen lanjut S3 lagi gitu uh, either mau tet- meskipun aku sebetulnya pengennya tuh nggak kerja kantoran tapi aku tetap pengen lanjut S3 kenapa karena aku pengen jadi full time mom I told you hmm. dan aku pengen jadi full time mom ketika aku adalah seorang PhD jadi aku bisa mendidik anakku di rumah ketika aku sendiri sudah menjadi seorang dokter oke okay, that's kind of like an ambition oh yeah what? I know exactly what it is yeah I told them that maybe I want the to be the stay at home doctorate mother and yeah. I might be the banking father <laughs> I want that I mean that I, I want to put now like my life goes change before like I want to pursue PhD to be a researcher and yeah. a, to be a professor now I want to become a PhD so I can teach my ho- my kids at home the next question Um, kapan ke Indo kamu lahiran di mana rencananya? Okay, where are Why you going? Going to Indo? Oh, yeah, well yeah, yeah. I'm picking it up bit by bit, yeah. So, so where are you going to Indonesia and where are you going to give birth? Probably give birth here. <laughs> not probably. <laughs> yeah. I say it's very really different. She's not really going to be like, yeah, stay in there. No, she give birth here in Ireland. I'll probably go to Indo a month or two after, depending on. House the baby. Oh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what like obviously there's restrictions in flights and stuff like that, and that kind of determine when we can fly to Indonesia to see the extended family and stuff. So we'll yeah. probably go after the baby's born. Never know, we might get lucky and go beforehand, but you never know. Yeah, we never know. But like, I don't think I can travel in a long flight before mm. baby's here because mm. that long travel really long. Mm. I can't manage if I like to travel. My <laughs> yeah, jet for like more than two hours and then sitting too long. We think, oh we my god. We all saw my bad. story a while ago. She was asleep after five minutes and slept for the entire journey. Yeah, jadi kemungkinan besar uh, ke Indonesia setelah ba- setelah aku lahiran, terus aku lahiran di sini di Ireland. Okay. Um, lahirnya di rumah sakit, bukan di rumah. Pertanyaan selanjutnya. Oh, it's in English. Do you wanna read this? Ooh, okay. Any gender expectation for the baby? Has your pregnancy been hard for you? Oh man, I can tell you straight up, her pregnancy has been rough. I mean, rough. Like, if it's not for the morning sickness in the first trimester, she was dying. <laughs> she was convinced she was not well. But, um, but an expectation for the baby? I don't know. Kind of like, we both don't actually mind if it's a boy or a girl. You know, as long as it's, you know, healthy, functioning, and does what it says in the tin. Um, but yeah, there you go. Yeah, like, there you go. I'm happy with either. Um, this question, kakak sama suami kerja di mana? Where do we work? Where do we work? I'm just, okay, we're gonna, I rarely answer this personal question yeah. because for me this is personal. But I'm gonna give you the general idea. I work in a tech company. Where? I'm not gonna tell you where. It's just a tech company. It's quite big. You can say the overall region in the county. Yeah, I work in Dublin. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, definitely the tech company is in Dublin mostly, yeah. and you work in a, a bank. bank in Dublin. In Dublin, <laughs> <laughs> as, as descriptive as they do. I don't know. It's very personal, and not that we don't want to, you know, let you in, but I don't know. There's like stuff that we're not certain would work and how much can be just, you know, disclosed yeah, and stuff. So better safe than sorry. Don't give away too much. Just say the field in the area. Yeah. We're in Ireland. So the kids, he works in a financial sector, I work in a tech. Yeah, that's even broader. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, yeah, financial is worse. Like he works in a bank, I work in a company. There you go. But yeah, I work in a company. Yeah, so. I mean, I work in a tech company. A okay, tech. let's tech. move on. Tech. Uh, dari keluarga Teteh, ada berapa orang yang tinggal di luar seperti Teteh dan di mana? Um, It's asking that is your family is 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 there any other family of yours that living uh, abroad and then where and who? Alika. Well, I'm just gonna say my sister Alika. Mm-hmm. Like she lives in Scotland, mm-hmm. quite close to Dublin. In Edinburgh. In Edinburgh. Mm-hmm. Edinburgh. <laughs> well, yeah. If some of you probably already knew her because like she's been in my Instagram story for these past two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Living it up in the city. This. <laughs> I'm just gonna answer. Two more questions here. Cool. Um, this this person asking that 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 the USG more. Uh, this person asking, are you still going to the USG? We will do it. Yeah, the ultrasound. You have to do an ultrasound. Yeah, we will do it. So we've already done the early scan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, and all saw that. The next one, the big the big one is going to be in February. Yeah, that's the anatomy scan. Yeah. That's that's going to be a big one. Yeah. Uh, this is one for me. Kakak lulusan Pexos salah satu kampus di Dago ya. Yes. 
aku lulusan sekolah tinggi kesejahteraan sosial dulu namanya STKS Bandung sekarang ganti jadi Poltekkes Ros Bandung Politeknik Kesejahteraan Sosial Bandung berarti ya kenapa ini dagonya disensor padahal aku tahu that's okay dago uh, I'm quite proud alumni aku lulusan STKS Bandung S2 aku di University College Dublin so yeah there you go you know where I graduated um, that's all Okay. Not all, but that's the question that we answer. Thank you guys for posting the questions. Yeah, Do you want to say something? We're happy to answer your questions. So make sure if you really, really, really want to know something, the next time we put up a Q&A, get in there and ask the question. Yeah, or you can simply put it in the comment. Or you can comment on the video, yeah. Yeah, and then if you, if, you, if you want us to talk about something in particular, also put that there, just yeah. put it in the comment. And don't forget to like, subscribe, share and comment. And do whatever you do with a YouTube video. Yeah. And keep support us, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See you in the next video. Bye.